back. So let's play part of this clip and then go to him for about 30, 40 minutes here, and then we're going to cover news and stuff we haven't gotten to yet. Uh, but let's go ahead and go to this gentleman's breakdown of why he left the Democratic Party after decades in it serving uh, in the Navy and Vietnam and, and, and many, many years in the State House and then the Senate and so much more. Uh, and uh, he was also elected to the Louisiana Justice Hall of Fame for his work in law enforcement as well, or, or law and government. But let's go ahead and go to this clip. Hello, my name is Elbert Lee Guillory, and I'm the senator for the 24th district right here in beautiful Louisiana. Recently, I made what many are referring to as a bold decision to switch my party affiliation to the Republican Party. I wanted to take a moment to explain why I chose to become a Republican and also to explain why I don't think it was a bold decision at all. It is the right decision, not only for me, but for all my brothers and sisters in the black community. You see, in recent history, the Democrat Party has created the illusion that their agenda and their policies are what's best for black people. Somehow it's been forgotten that the Republican Party was founded in 1854 as an abolitionist movement with one simple creed, that slavery is a violation of the rights of man. Frederick Douglass called Republicans the party of freedom and progress. And the first Republican president was Abraham Lincoln, the author of the Emancipation Proclamation. It was Republicans in Congress who authored the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments, giving former slaves citizenship, voting rights, and due process of law. The Democrats, on the other hand, were the party of Jim Crow. It was Democrats who defended the rights of slave owners. It was the Republican President Dwight Eisenhower who championed the Civil Rights Act of 1957. But it was the Democrats in the Senate who filibustered the bill. You see, at the heart of liberalism is the idea that only a great and powerful big government can be the benefactor of social justice for all Americans. But the left is only concerned with one thing, control. And they disguise this control as charity. Programs such as welfare, food stamps, these programs aren't designed to lift black Americans out of poverty. They were always intended as a mechanism for politicians to control the black community. The idea that blacks, or anyone for that matter, need the government to get ahead in life is despicable. And even more important, this idea is a failure. Our communities are just as poor as they have always been. Our schools continue to fail children. Our prisons are filled with young black men who should be at home, being fathers. Our self-initiative and our self-reliance have been sacrificed in exchange for allegiance to our overseers who control us by making us dependent on them. Sometime I wonder if the word freedom is tossed around so frequently in our society that it has become a cliche. The idea of freedom is complex and it's all-encompassing. It's the idea that the economy must remain free of government persuasion. It's the idea that the press must operate without government intrusion. And it's the idea that the emails and phone records of Americans should remain free from government search and seizure. It's the idea that parents must be the decision makers in regards to their children's education, not some government bureaucrat. But most importantly, it is the idea that the individual must be free to pursue his or her own happiness, free from government dependence and free from government control. Because to be truly free is to be reliant on no one other than the author of our destiny. These are the ideas at the core of the Republican Party, and it is why I am a Republican. So my brothers and sisters of the American community, Please join with me today in abandoning the government plantation and the party of disappointment so that we may all echo the words of one Republican leader who famously said, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. That's Albert Guillory, Senator and whether he was successful politically doing that or not, the numbers nationwide and the movement that he helped start is huge. And it, it's so sad to see the University of Oregon, this was mainstream news last week, trying to pull down 
part of Martin Luther King's famous speech about children of all colors coming together. They said, well, you didn't have trans, uh, uh, transsexuals in there, so he's racist. This is the craziness of political correctness now, just bondage over people's minds. And the outgoing Senator Elbert Guillory joins us, elbertguillory.com. That's probably the most powerful four minutes on the subject of what the Democratic Party was, is, and continues to be. Uh, and so I really appreciate him coming on and for his leadership uh, with what he's been doing, not just in Louisiana, but all over the country. Thank you, sir. Alex, it is a great, uh, a great honor to be here with you. Uh, let's get back to why you decided to do this, where it's going, uh, what you've gone through now in your state, and where you see this going. Well, I'm running for the United States Congress right now, the 4th District of Louisiana. Uh, I think that America's at a crossroads. We can either go up to the top of the mountain, that, that mountaintop that King talked about, the top of the hill that Reagan talked about, or we can go down into the valley of history. And we who are alive, today have a great responsibility to make sure that this country gets to the top of that mountain. And I should have added, you're going from Senator where you've been very successful uh, to, to, to Congress. And uh, let's talk about how we get you into Congress. That would be awesome. I'd love to see you giving speeches on television. Well, uh, we, we are trying to get a couple of things. Uh, we'd like to have your prayers, of course. If you have advice, please send that advice to us at albertguillory.com. And of course, the fuel for these machines, these political machines, is always a little money. So a $2 donation, a $5 donation, whatever you can afford, if you believe in the message that I deliver and the message that I am going to take to Washington, D.C. And if you want to hear more of that message, albertguillory.com or my Facebook, and you will wow. see what I'm really about. Well, I'll tell you, I mean, you could be an even bigger leader than Ron Paul in Congress, you're so informed, so elegant. I don't think I've uh, heard anybody speak as good as you, and I've seen a lot of your other speeches. I mean, you just would blow people away on C-SPAN, your leadership. Uh, in fact, when I saw this, I was thinking, man, this guy ought to run for Congress, and of course, I knew you were. Uh, but uh, it is a bold move, especially in your state, obviously, but there is this Republican landslide that looks like coming, anything but election fraud, I think, and, and, and you know, big money, maybe that can stop you, but what are your chances currently right now? And again, what do we do to supercharge your campaign nationwide? If you can help get the word out that, that we really do have a, a message to deliver and that that message is delivered in a godly fashion uh, and, and with uh, experience. Uh, I've been in, involved in government and law 44 years. So uh, I've been around this game. I understand how it is supposed to be played and how it should be played with integrity. It's all about service, about serving God and serving his people. Wow, I tell you, the system is scared of you, obviously. Uh, let's talk about what happened when you made your switch, when you did that, and what's happened since then as a model for others. Because regardless whether you win, lose, or draw, uh, I mean, I have to say you're one of the first people in the last few years to make the switch, and it does seem to be a tidal wave now. It has become a tsunami uh, that's moving across this country. We, the, the Democrat Party has just moved so far to the left, moved so far from the, the values of basic Americans, so far from the voice of basic Americans, that uh, we're just not satisfied. We have to do something different. And what is closest to our values is the, the Republican Party. They believe in God and in country, and in guns, and in, uh, and, and I mean responsible. Of course, gun. right to defense. Yes, we, we have a right to defend ourselves and our families. So those, those values are just crucial to us. Life, of course. Well, obviously, a lot of folks could stay in the Democratic Party and say, I'm going to change it from within. And, 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 you know, that makes sense at some levels. But at a certain point, yeah, I mean, Bernie Sanders could be the nominee. I mean, Hillary, all of her corruption? I mean, this, this party really has degenerated. How can you change that from within? A, a party headed by, by Bernie or Hillary, how can you change that from within? I don't, I don't see that that's possible. I've had to move away from that party. And I, I tried. I was in there for, I was a conservative Democrat for a long time. And I, I tried moving 
things forward in a positive way, but that simply did not work. I couldn't take it. I got a phone call one day. My uh, my my mother, who was 103 at the time, I was sitting on wow, the uh, wow. Senate floor, and the head of the Democrat Party in Louisiana had said some racist thing about if uh, if if anyone did not like Obamacare, the only reason they wouldn't like it is because of his race. And so my mom, who's a Democrat, called me and said, "Elbert, you aren't you didn't say this, did you? No, mom, I didn't. You, you are you with those people who are saying that?" You just better be careful up there because I don't want you bringing dishonor onto our family. I've been thinking for two years of making the move. And when I got that little nudge from my dear mother, I had to make that switch immediately. I hung up the phone and called my registrar. So it was the Democratic Party and the MSNBC propaganda trying to claim you're racist. It's like trying to take Martin Luther King down, the, the Democrats now in some areas. Because he said, judge people by the way they act, what they do, the, the character of their deeds. Like Christ said, judge a tree by its fruits. And that goes diametrically opposed to what they teach now, the opposite of Martin Luther King, the opposite of Christ. They just say it doesn't matter what somebody does, as long as what group they're in, that is gang mentality. That is, it's sick. It is, it is a sickness that we need to cure in America. Matt Drudge here in the studio said America is sick, and they criticize him for saying it. He's not attacking America. America is sick. I mean, you, you get sick because your body's in trouble. It's telling you, lay down. You know, do, I mean, we're going to die as a country if we don't get better. We, we, we're getting so far from those basic values that brought us to greatness as a nation, like, like hard work. America was based on, on hard work. It's one of the hallmarks of America. Uh, now we have government programs that will de deprive a person of the, their dignity, of their, their right to, 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 to climb the ladder of, of success in America and to, to lift their families. To be deprived of that opportunity is, is so destructive, it's so sick. We've, we've got to do better. America must do better. Uh, again, if I tried to chronicle all the state senators and state reps and even people in Congress and folks switching to Republican, it, it would take all day. But what do you expect them to do to try to block yourself getting into Congress and so many other people making the, the leap from state level to federal level where it's so badly needed? Because obviously they must be scared of your leadership. I mean, I mean, imagine not just to change the Democrats, but Republicans need some changing as well, obviously from within inside. Uh, what are some of the tricks they're engaged in? Uh, what is most important that you want to impart to the audience today? Well, there's a, a lot of voter fraud that we have to be careful to, to, to be watchful about. But the dirty tricks, the lies, the slanderous uh, stories that they make up, those are the things uh, that, that we must watch most closely. The, uh, the Democrat Party is, is well versed in, in dirty tricks. And so we have to watch out for those. If people will, will help protect me from that, I would appreciate it very much. And I believe that our message will, uh, will get a wider audience as a result of that. Well, they're definitely scared of the message you're putting out because it's so true. Uh, again, with this election coming up, what are the numbers looking like currently uh, for you in Louisiana to get into the U.S. Congress? We've uh, done several polls, and they said they, they, they look very good. Right now, I'm the only candidate announced uh, in the 4th Congressional District. I'm sure that there will be others who will line up. I'm sure that the Democrats will, will run two or three uh, folks. I'm sure that they'll find at least one black Democrat so that they can attempt to water down my, uh, my, the popularity of my vote in the black community. But we are going to fight. The, Win or lose, the message is so important. It is so important to remind Americans that we are at the crossroads and that we have an obligation to protect our land, our, our country. Uh, that message is going to get out. Well, Senator the Guillory, what you said is so key. Losing is not taking the field. Losing is waiting for somebody else to do it. Losing is saying, well, I may not win, so I'm not going to get in. Winning Winning is all about resistance when you have the right message. And what you're doing is winning. You're a winner regardless, and other people need to follow suit. And the, the polls certainly indicate that we have a, an excellent chance of, of winning. We are uh, very happy about that. We are raising money 
uh, for a change, and we're doing very well. We have a, a national organization that's that's raising money for us, a 